Okay, so now that we understand what a register is, and the fact that we have instructions that will manipulate these registers, let's understand what an instruction looks like. That is the format of an instruction. An instruction, we'll take a simple example, will we'll have an operation. For example, I'm saying here, I want to move something into a register. And in this particular case, I want to move the number 100 into the register R0. Now, an instruction like this can, can, be, can convey the purpose by commenting it appropriately. So we put a comment, for example, maybe this, the purpose of this instruction was to set the a table's size. We're using a table of some uh, of records, of student records, and this table has going to be of size 100. So I put a comment. Now, the comment is prefi prefixed by a semicolon. Now, typically, an instruction like this may have a label. So for example, this is an initialization, so I have a label. So to review our instruction then, we say that instruction has an opcode operands. This particular instruction required two operands. There will be other instructions. There might be three operands, four operands, or even zero operands. And then we have a possible comment. Now, good code should always have copious amounts of comments so that it can it has a value for somebody else who's looking at it and not and easy to understand and a label now we notice that comments and labels are optional whereas every instruction will have an opcode so this gives us an idea about what an instruction looks like let's look at some of the kinds of operations that we perform the kinds of operations can be broadly classified into four categories. The first category is, and by far the most important category, is memory access. So what we mean by memory access is to load and store information. And so to load information from, so for example, we have our registers that are in the CPU and we have memory. So when we talk about load store operations, we're talking about operations to load from memory and to store to memory. So here's an example of a load operation. So for example, I say LDR R1 R0. So this instruction tells the system that I want to store into register R1, into register R1, I want to store the contents of memory. So there's an address here. It, we're saying that it holds an address. Go to that location and address fetch the contents of that address and put them put it in register r1 so that's a memory access instruction the second instruction obviously we want to do some work on these things that we bring into registers so the second class of operations are arithmetic and logic operations arithmetic logic operations could be something as simple as add subtract and arithmetic operations, add, subtract, multiply, and so on, multiply, divide, or they can be logical operations like doing performing an AND operation, per performing a shift operation. Again, here's a simple example of an AND operation. So add R1, R3, and R7. So this instruction is telling us to take the contents of R7 and R3 and 
add them together and put the result in R1. Here is a third class of operations. These are control operations. Control operations are operations that change the flow, that change the flow of code. What we mean by change the flow of code is we sometimes in our program will branch from one location to another location. Or we may call a subroutine. Here's a simple example of a flow instruction, a control instruction, a branch equal to a label which is is equal. So what this is saying is if the z bit is equal to 1 which is how we indicate that that a uh, the two things are equal if the z bit is equal to 1 then branch to a label which is a label like that branch to a label which is is equal the last class of operations are special instructions these could be instructions that that don't have an equivalent, they're not memory access, they're not logic operations, but they have special purpose. So these special instructions, for example, are things like to turn off interrupts, to t disable or enable interrupts. So here's an example of a, of a special instruction. This is the CPSIE with an, with an operand I, which tells the system to enable interrupts. The E here is for enable. So there's an equivalent which is CPS ID which tells the system to disable interrupts.